Hey guys, this is Pearl Mam. Today I'm going to show you show you how an amateur drives an A43 in a tier 7 match. So the A43 is a tier 6 medium tank down the Russian line and it kind of plays more like a light tank. Um, it drives really fast, it's pretty maneuverable, uh, the armor is not too great and the gun is not very great at all. So if you look down at the bottom here, uh, normal rounds, the damage is 115 with a penetration of 125, which isn't really sufficient to penetrate the front of many tanks. Um, but it can penetrate the sides of a lot of tanks, uh, even tier 7 sides, some of them. So, um, so you drive this kind of like a light. And in this game, uh, I'm in Kharkov in a tier 7 match as a tier 6. Uh, so this is a, a kind of a weak tank against tier 7s. Um, and in this game I'm going to show uh, how to hold a flank by yourself in a weak tank. Um, so our team ends up all going north. If you look on the mini-map, they all go up this way. And they leave the plaza open. And so somebody has to guard that flank, and I decide to take that guarding. And, and when guarding a flank, it's also you need to know when to retreat, and I show you how to do that, too. So we'll start this game, and I'll show you what goes on. So as you can see, everybody starts going north, so I decide to... You know, somebody's got to spot this place. Somebody's got to stop them from just rolling through, otherwise we're dead. So here's the plaza, and you'll see um, right when I pop out, I spot guys. And usually there's guys there, so you got to be careful. So you see that I, I go slowly, I spot, and I take a snapshot, which is stupid. Uh, I should have just spotted and left. And you can see there's two tanks there. And now notice, I don't pop out again. I do not pop out again because there's two guys with their guns trained on me. I am, it, there's no reason for me to pop out right there. And they're not moving any closer. I'm holding them back. They're distracted and they're not doing any damage. And they're out of the game, basically, just by staying there. So now you can see that behind me this Cromwell comes in and starts spotting. And he just gets wrecked. Um, he's a 50% player, and he's trying to do damage, and he really shouldn't. So I come out here, and I try to do some damage, uh, because they've all fired, and they're all distracted by the Cromwell. Once again, they fire again, so I figure it's a good time for me to come out and try to do some more damage. And the pen isn't very good, and I get a lucky bounce there. So right now, I am all by myself. And there's three tanks right there, as you can see. And there's this Chi Ri around the corner here. That Chi Ri's scary. If he push, pushes out, I'm dead. So right now, there's no reason for me to pop out. Uh, there's three tanks trained on me. But now here's... So I have to pop out and try to spot. Uh, because, you know, you have to engage the enemy. You can't just disappear from them because then they're going to push forward. So you got to give him something, a taste, like, oh, I want to stay here and shoot at him. You know, he's going to pop out again. So you got to entice them. Uh, and all I'm trying to do is just keep him to stay, you know? And so I'm trying to spot them. And luckily they miss. And there's four tanks right there. And that Chi Ri is still there. And so once again, all I'm trying to do is just keep those four tanks distracted on me. So this Chiri rightfully comes. Now you can see he just got shot. I'm going to pause it there, but I get lucky here. I'm a dead man. This Chiri can do a, a lot of alpha damage, and he'd probably kill me in, uh, you know, well, he'd probably kill me. But I get lucky, and these guys uh, shoot their own team. I don't know why. But anyway, I get lucky there and realize that. Penetration. And so he has a drum with three shells. I've played the Chiri. And I realize that. And so I know he can't kill me for another nine seconds. So I decide not to use my track repair and just do my damage real quick. I can kill him before nine seconds. And so that's what I do. 
So now they rightfully start pushing. You can see them around the corner there. I need to get the hell out of there. I should have retreated before, but this is a good time for me to retreat. And I do. And so now notice that I don't just stay around that corner right there. And also I'm using auto aim. So I can look where I'm going and have my gun back there. So if he does pop out, I can do some damage. Now I'm going to pause it here. It, I'm retreating to a, a vantage point where I can do damage and not get damage. So let's say if I stayed right here and waited for him to pop out, I would, he would, we would exchange damage. There's no retreat and we would just exchange damage. From this vantage point where I'm going right now, I can, you know, show my front armor. I can do damage and then retreat, and he's in the open. In order to get me, he has to go in the open. That's a good retreat point. And so here I'm waiting. Uh, if more than one guy pokes out, I'm, I have enough time to get out of there. And so now I just wait. Uh, now that we're winning, and so probably uh, they're going to go back to cap. But if they do push out... I would die, and here he comes. So I do some damage, and I retreat. Now, I could probably have more shots on him, and I have relatively good cover. But if there's another tank there, and and he he's going to push up to me, I, I'm going to exchange damage if I stay there. So I decide to retreat. Once again, my gun is locked behind me, so I can have a good... good uh, so my... So I can shoot, and look, there he comes. He's expecting me to be around that corner. I do some damage and retreat. And here, now at this point, I got him. You know, if he pops out, I'll we can exchange damage and he's dead. And so he doesn't want to pop out. And at this point, I have my teammates come in. So that was a good retreat. I just wait for, I'm not going to exchange damage here. And he's distracted, so I pop out. Not worried about him shooting me and steal the kill. <laughs> you know, I I deserve that kill. So anyway, so here the game's pretty much over. I decide to try to, you know, get as much experience as possible. There's the pen. No good pen in this this tank, and I take some damage. So now I got to be careful. And you know, we're just wrapping this game up. And so that's kind of how to hold the flank. You, I'm a weaker tank. They own me. They will kill me if they push, but they don't push. And so that's what you got to do when you're when you're in a weak tank like that. Give them something to shoot at. Give them something to shoot at, and they'll stay there. All those tanks were out of the game, distracting me, not doing damage to me, not doing anything, and that helped us win the game. So here's the the sum up of. The, the experience and the damage and stuff. Um, here I am, right here, and uh, 615 experience, a pretty mediocre game, but, uh, you know, like I said, I did hold that front and distract enemies. I didn't do any damage, per se, or get, do anything that gives you experience, but I did distract them and help us get that win. Um, and, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm still high up just by staying alive and... and and surviving, you can always get some good experience. Um, and uh, that's about it. And so that's how you hold a flank uh, in a weaker tank. If they pushed, I would have got the hell out of there. You go to those vantage points and spot again, and then you just do damage. You want to entice them to stop and shoot at you, and then you retreat. So they, it's all you're doing is slowing them down. And that's how, to, how an amateur plays an A43 in a Tier 7 match. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it.